What's up, guys? Brian Peterson here, Teach Me Grappling. Um, we've got Conor McGregor today. I'm going to be talking about this uh, this training footage that just came out a few days ago. Um, earlier, there's a uh, there's a video of Conor throwing like bare knuckle like punches to the body with this dude. If you guys want to check that out, I didn't think it was important to share it. His opponent right here gets a single leg. Notice Conor, he's grabbing the chin. And he was trying to manipulate the head in a certain way. Try to guillotine. Look at checking the sweep with the double ankle. Near the ankle. It's kind of a, uh, a move that was made famous by uh, Marcelo Garcia. Um, he's got a shin to shin. He's got wrist control right here. He's doing a great job. I will mention. Here's a De La Hiva hook. Standard De La Hiva variation. Uses it to come up on a single leg. Big double leg lift and takes him down. I just want to mention. Connor's much bigger than this dude. And when I say much, um, I, I'd say, man, got to be 15 pounds. He's got to have about 10 to 15 pounds on this guy. Um, it's, it's significant for sure. Um, this position right here, check it out. I like this because Connor's wrestling. Notice his right leg trying to step over, and he controls it like a wrestler would. His opponent also has wrestling experience, tried to use a wrestling counter, and then Connor goes straight into jiu-jitsu mode, goes for the omoplata, and the opponent's trying to defend with his left knee on the stomach. As Connor's trying to sit up now, I love omoplatas. He's pushing on the ankle. He's trying to work past the knee. Check this out. His partner is grabbing his shin. Connor looks at his coach, and he tells him, hey, dude, lay off the shin. That was our broken shin. You can almost see his shin bone right there. doesn't look too straight. Um, I'm sure it's not 100% yet, and so they want to keep him safe. Then, Connor almost weaves his foot underneath the armpit, makes a mistake as his opponent steps around. That was a big mistake. I never let a guy do that without getting a sweep. Although that happened, Connor was able to get back to up to his feet and separate. He's playing from his back here. Nice wrist control, nice foot on the hip, little kick to the stomach, using it to practice getting up. His opponent does a good job of staying on top, butterfly guard. Now check this out. Connor tries to crank that arm on an underhook, makes a mistake, and allows his opponent to pass to half guard. He does frame up pretty good right here, but that was actually a big error. Um, uh, well, very good grapplers would, would seize on that, just like his training partner did, even though he's smaller. He's dealing with the frames, and uh, in half guard, this is all good. Both sides doing a fairly good job. Um, I'd like to see Connor right here make a little bit of a better play. He, it, that was a nice recovery of guard checking a guillotine and then also checking beautiful, showing that he can elbow strike the head. Um, that looked really nice. Beautiful job with his kicking here. Um, this is also very controlled. Uh, he's doing a great job. I know that uh, Connor. Uh, You'll see him beat on his training partners at times. It looked like he was doing a good job right there. Um, obviously, if you watch the bare knuckle stuff, it didn't look like he was going very easy. I also saw this footage where they're wearing MMA gloves. Again, notice he's training with a smaller training partner. And look at this nice left ankle right there. You got a little cockle burr on the ankle. Um, so when you have a hook in, that he's using a power half right here. And he's trying to pry his opponent over. His opponent finally gets to his back. Connor runs towards the back. You notice again, another example. I love to see this. Coming out on the side, this is good wrestling training by Connor. Um, but I'm going to mention, and, and the beautiful blend of wrestling mixing in with jiu-jitsu. Um, but obviously I have to mention it. His training partners are smaller than him. But again, guys, you notice his, his left shin, he's got kind of like a pad on it. He's, he's, he's got to work with the uh, less skilled, smaller guys so that he can kind of work his way back in. And again, I don't know how old this video is, but he's obviously babying, babying his shin bone. Um, look at the, the control with the lock uh, in this position and using it to set the hooks. He's running kind of a spiral ride out to the side very nicely. And even though his opponent's smaller than him and it's it's fairly easy to do with this opponent. He falls back really nice. There's the nice jujitsu body triangle working back into it. 
His opponent goes to the side of the body triangle. Connor does a great job of coming back up on top and mounting. And then notice the striking. Look at this. Palm strike to the face right there. Just letting his partner know, hey, I could hit you right here. But in very good control. So um, opponent turns his back, trying to escape. Then he turns back to the mount. Um, I really like what I'm seeing. Uh, a lot of people, look at that. Knee cutting as he recovered. Now check this out, guys. Look at this. Katsukatami, he's going for arm triangle, but look what he's doing. He's doing a variation. He's combining an arm triangle with a chest compression type choke like uh, Josh Barnett uh, would use against Dean Lister. Um, so that was pretty nice to see. Very interesting move. I personally, not a fan yet, but that's still very interesting. Again, more of this turtle position, working on breaking his opponent back down. Um, one thing I'll mention is he's using a lock, which is good. It's good, but in America, American wrestling, which I'm sure at, at um, Straight Blast Gym, they have the most amazing trainers over there, but um, they probably have more of a freestyle wrestling influence rather than a folk style wrestling influence. And I think this is an American uh, advantage that we have in America is notice how he snatches his opponent's wrist. He's got a left hook in. I would have thrown my right hook in. He's bringing the left choke up while he keeps the arm behind the back very nicely. Again, dominating his smaller training partner. But that is how you need to train when you need to train safe. You have an injury. You can't just say, hey, let me get the biggest, baddest dude in the world. And let's start sparring. You know, you want to you wanna develop your technique. Obviously, he, he's on camera. He wants to look good. So there's there's lots of factors here. But, you know, and a lot of people like to hate on Connor saying he's terrible grappling. I do not think that whatsoever. Um, it's one thing to say that he's not a world champion black belt level competitor. And it's a whole other thing to say he sucks at grappling. Like, that's just not true at all. Um, he's very, very good. So notice he's coming in. I like how he tried to duck that arm. This is a beautiful position right here to throw some strikes. Um, I do think that he can improve quite a bit. Um, there's definitely some things that I would go over. I'd have my uh, my feet crossed right here. Uh, nice adjustment. You notice the hips kind of come back a little. That's a that's a thing to widen your knees. And I'm sure with his shin bone, he may he may not be as comfortable in that position crossing his feet. But that's something I would do. Right here, I, I would probably use a little bit. He's got his right hand on the wrist, what people call the Dagestani handcuff that Habib kind of did really well and obviously many of other fighters have used. I would free up my left hand right now. I'd be freeing my left hand. I would not be riding a two-on-one. I would be using my left foot to control the other leg, the right leg, and I believe Connor's going to do that. Nice job flattening his partner out on his belly, checking the strikes, you know, doing a good job. You know, looking pretty good. Obviously, he's, he's uh, of course, dominating as he should. His partner partners probably aren't don't want to beat beat him up either. They're they know their place. Their place is to to give him some work and make him look good. But this is nice that we get to see some things. Check it out. Controlling the wrist. He's doing a good job of staying over the hips. There's a little bit of times where he's maybe not as heavy as he could be. You know, uh, these are things that certain people are going to be able to see. Notice how he moved his left leg back into the middle. He's checking a nice position, controlling the head. I like that. Controlling the biceps. This is MMA grappling right here. You, It may not look as good to a strict jiu-jitsu guy, but this is fairly good MMA grappling. Um, using the cross face, using a lot of wrestling and blending it with his jiu-jitsu. So I, I like what I saw there overall. Good training, safe training, more of this turtle position. Again, what I was mentioning earlier about the uh, the American style of wrestling, we don't lock our hands on the mat, um, and I think that it gives us an advantage sometimes in manipulating the body because we learn how to do it without a lock, and I don't think you need a lock as much as people think they do. Again, right here, putting his hooks in, transitioning into a technical mount, looking for a Kimura grip, and then kind of going right back to the back. Double hooks, scoots his hip back good, not bad, he's a little, little high, he's getting a little high here, but look at that right foot control. Um, you know, using the control on the opposite leg. You guys see that there? That's what I was kind of talking about earlier. Um, I would definitely be dropping my left side of my body and try to stretch my right leg, much like uh, the broomstick takedown, in order to trip my opponent. 
He chooses to go back to hooks. He's a little high again. Um, what we want to do right here is we either want to dig for a choke and see if we can threaten it so our opponent will turn so that we can get to a better position, or we want to scoot ourselves back. And um, again, it may lead to more escaping. Nice control of the leg right here, looking for some strikes. Nice knee in the middle. Nice job covering his opponent, looking for mount. And as his opponent tries to escape mount, he's doing a great job of control. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, I know this is just a, a, a small thing that they drop on the internet. But it's nice to see Connor back to training and, and working on his grappling. And, um, you know, he sounds like he's pretty confident. Um, it's going to be fun to see him in the future. I know a lot, of, a lot of people love him. A lot of people hate him. But uh, overall, he's obviously a great fighter. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you guys like to see anything else in the future. See you guys next time with more great stuff. I'm out.